in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed it says let us therefore labor to enter that rest and the way we labor is found in jeremiah 6 16. it says to stand in the way and then he says to see and ask for the old path wherein is a good way when you find it he said walk in it and for sure you will enter your sabbath please hear me as we prepare to round up tonight the Spirit of the Lord is speaking to someone. I am still depending on you. I am still depending on you. I am still depending on you. Moses, do not prolong prophecy by 30 more years because of the laxity in your training. When the prophecy came to Abraham, it was 400 years. Match the prophecy with the speed of your training so that you do not add 30 more years and make God look like a liar. If you are slow, you will delay prophecy and time will be added and men will suffer. You must be up and doing at a cutting edge to match up with what has said. He said, I, Daniel, understood by books. He opened the book to see where it was written that the captivity of Israel in Babylon would come. And when he found the time, he postured himself in fasting and prayer for 21 days until Gabriel was sent from heaven to come and bring him word and while he was coming the prince of persia the spiritual wickedness that resides in the heavenlies he stopped him and he maintained in persistence an archangel michael he came and it prevailed not and he had now come he said i am come to give you understanding he gave him understanding and he knew the times that the captivity of God's people would come to an end. In this season, we must master the art of reading the writings on the wall. You must have the eyes of the Spirit that when you see things written on the wall, you must discern what the Spirit is saying. The Bible says, He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith. Is it not in your Bible that the Spirit speaketh expressly? The Spirit speaketh expressly. It says that in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith and they shall give heed to seducing spirits and the doctrine of demons. But the most important thing is that the Spirit speaketh expressly. We must obtain grace that our eyes be washed with eye salve and that our ears be attuned to the frequency of the Spirit to know what God is saying part time past season let us walk after the order of the sons of Issachar the Bible says they are men that had an understanding of the times and they knew what Israel ought to do as a result their brethren were at their command there are names there are titles there are legends and tales of strength but only a sure will reign forever to his kingdom there'll be no way there are names there are I stand by this prophetic and apostolic mantle and I declare over your life in the name of the resurrected Christ who gave gifts to men that every door that has stood closed over you 
in the name of Jesus, I come by the rod of a higher priesthood and I speak to that door, Ephata be open. Ephata be open. Ephata be open. In the name of Jesus. It says, and thou, O Lord, will teach my hands to war and my fingers to fight. I decree and declare, in the name of Jesus, the strategy for victory that you have now received, obtain it and last through your open doors. Last through your open doors. Last through your open doors. No decline, no retrogression. In the name of Jesus Christ. You hear me? There are some of you that found certain treasures but they fell and they were missing. The Bible says the kingdom is like a man who had treasure but one fell. The first thing he did was to light a candle and the second thing he did was to get a broom and with the candle and the broom he started searching. I know it is somewhere, I don't know exactly but with the candle that has been lit and the broom he started sweeping the Bible says that is the character of the kingdom you never find things until by light and the assistance of the prophetic alas master for it was borrowed he said where fell it and he said here I want to speak to someone because you see let me tell you restoration resides within the office of the prophetic whether it is the wife of the Shunam a Shunammite woman having her son back to life or the axe head falling or restoration to Samaria. It is by a prophet that the Lord brings the nation of Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet they are preserved. He said, I have spoken to you in similitude. I have multiplied visions even by the prophets. I decree and declare in the name that is above all names, everything that has left you but not by God, in the name that is above all names, I declare with accuracy and precision, let it return back to you. Let it return back to you. Opportunities, graces, let it return back to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Please hear me. The Bible says everyone that knocks, the door will open. I told you when you knock, it is because there is someone at the other side of the door and it is possible that he can be manipulated like the man who slept with his children to say you are my friend but it's too late I cannot open the door to give you what you want it takes the favor of God coming upon a man to compel people to bend over backwards for your sake and Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 says, And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, and it shall come to pass that as ye go, ye shall not go empty. Esther chapter 2 and verse 15, be part. And Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. Psalms 44 and verse 3, they got not the land in possession by their own sword, neither did their arms save them. 44 and verse 3, it says, but thou thy right hand, it says, because thou showed a favor towards them. The favor of God is not about money. The favor of God gives you access to the hearts of men. The heaven, even the heaven of heavens belong to the Lord. But hear me, the earth has he given to the sons of men. If God says yes and men say no, yes remains in the realm of the spirit. It is the spirit and the bride that says come. Not the spirit alone. The system of operation within the cosmos will take the partnership of the spirit and a willing bride. If the spirit says Jesus come and Mary refuses to give her womb, he would have to look for another person again. She had to say be it unto me. Be it unto me. Luke chapter 1 and verse 45. It says, be it unto me. Blessed is she that believes, he told her. It says, for there shall be a performance of the things that were spoken unto her from the Lord. Mary, on hearing that mandate, she said, be it unto me, according to your word. And that happened. For many of you, the Spirit has been saying, come. The Spirit has said, increase. The Spirit has said, open doors. The Spirit has said, fresh mantles. But the bride that will stand in partnership with the Spirit to echo what is being said, has not spoken I stand as one sent because the spirit has said come I also say come for you in the name of Jesus 
because the spirit has said rise I prophesy rise because the spirit has said shine I prophesy shine because the spirit has said go forward I prophesy go forward because the spirit has said don't go down I prophesy you shall not go down in the name of Jesus Christ and I speak to you according to Job Job 5 he said God will deliver you from six things yes seven things one of it is the scourging tongues of men every tongue that rises up against you I call upon the God of Jeshurun the one who rides upon the wings of the wind I decree and declare it falls in judgment in the name of Jesus Christ Can we take one minute to pray for Nigeria? Are we responsible enough to lend our contribution? We have to pray. The election is by the weekend. It is everybody's business. We are going to cry. We need God to arise as a deliverer. Are we together? Yes. I don't do partisan politics, but it is my desire. The prophetic and the apostolic represent the foundations upon which anything is built even in heaven where satan is not there the foundation of the heavens has the 12 names of the apostles written there god designed his system such that after christ the cornerstone the next that you meet is the apostolic and the prophetic that is a proper architecture for a building that is built such that the gates of hell shall not prevail that means for any nation that is built well the apostolic and the prophetic in partnership with the holy spirit have a right to speak let me show you a scripture am i wasting your time ezra chapter 4 and verse 16. we are praying for nigeria ezra chapter 4 give it to us please and verse 16. 16. did i get that right is it four or five Ezra chapter 6 my apologies I just searched for it now quickly Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14 the Bible says and the elders of the Jews build it and they prospered not through the dexterity of their intelligence and architecture they prospered through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo and they built it and finished it according to the commandment of the God of Israel hear me the God of Israel commanded it but he took the prophetic and the apostolic to speak it while they were building that's how it works there are people who will be voting but there are prophets who will be speaking and there is a God who commands are we together now to prophesy alone and fold your arms uh -uh, there must be builders even though God has granted Nehemiah favor you must stand on the wall of Jerusalem to build and the Bible says he built with such dexterity with one hand he held the sword because of the presence of men like Sambalas and Tobias the spirit of the Antichrist you will always find them within a system Can you sing for us the national anthem of Nigeria in one minute? Do you still remember? Because many people don't know the national anthem again. You must sing it, whether you know it or not. All right, so. Rise up.
please listen. Please listen. Listen very carefully. It does not matter who wins. If people die, it is not worth it. Did you hear what I said? Whatever political party and what, whoever wins, if somebody has to lose her child, if somebody has to lose her life, if an innocent person has to be maimed up and down because of the wickedness of people, ladies and gentlemen, it is not worth it. The prayer, more than just praying and say, Lord, intervene, is let there be peace. Let every demonic manipulation of darkness to lead to death or violence, Lord, by the mercy of God, let it not happen. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice in one minute. Father, we cry for peace. Is someone praying? We cry for peace. We cry for peace. We cry for peace. Every polling unit, in the name of Jesus, we cry for peace. Shalika paruka tuska vredike beleko tiasa. Lord, let lives not be lost in the name of Jesus. Let lives not be lost in the name of Jesus. Anyone planning wickedness, anyone planning violence, any groups of persons walking to kill, to steal, to destroy. In the name of Jesus, we release the forces of judgment. We declare in the name of Jesus that no plot to bring violence over the people in this land, in the name of Jesus, we declare it will not stand. As responsible citizens in this nation, we stand in partnership with heaven and we decree and declare grace. Hallelujah. Now, I'd like you to pray one last prayer. Thank you for the time. I'm stretching you a bit, but this is the only chance we have to pray. We are going to pray. Listen, it is not just the president that is required to change this nation. No matter how innocent or how wicked an individual is, I tell you sincerely, you need Jesus himself, the righteous, had to surround himself before he started with 12 disciples because he needed people he could send two by two. An individual on his own without a system that works. If you have a president that works and you have governors that are corrupt and wicked and devilish house members, don't forget that we're operating a democracy. So it matters. Everybody and every position for election is our business. Don't just focus on presidency alone. That is the mistake that many will make and then will allow all kinds of things, a little living will spoil everything. Are we together now? We are going to pray just one last prayer. Lord, from the presidency down to local governments, down to councillors, down to house members, the, you know, at a state and federal level, senators, Lord, we pray. Anybody who does not mean this nation well, root them out. Open your mouth and pray. Anybody who does not mean our nation well, in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare, may they not get to the throne. From the presidency to the state level, the local governments, house members, state and federal, Lord, we pray that once again you breathe upon our nation. And in the name of Jesus, give us a chance to rise again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for tonight. We thank you because even for Nigeria, we pray, deliver us from evil. In the mighty name of Jesus. Saturday, oh God, we are the polls again to decide the next four years, extending to the next, the next eight years of this nation. Lord, we cry in the name of Jesus, beyond our wills and our desires, we tap into the wisdom of the Spirit. You are the one who has seen through the eons of time. And oh God, among the candidates presented and among all the people, you are the one that knows those that will be able to lead us well. We will not judge by the flesh. We only cry by the spirit that you arise and help us as a nation. 
in the name of Jesus Christ Lord we extend our prayers to all the arms and the tears of government we pray oh God that Nigeria like never before will have righteous leaders who are sincere and serious but Lord more importantly we pray and we cry unto you let there be no violence from the north to the south the east and the west the south 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 east south west north east north central north west let there be peace we pray for INEC, we pray for the law enforcement agents, we pray for the judiciary. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray and cry, let there be justice and equity. Amen. I lend my voice, O oh God, with every man, woman of God, everyone standing in the position of priesthood, crying and praying over this nation. We lend our voices and we lift it as a united team. We cry, Maranatha, let your program come. Amen. Maranatha, let the purposes of God come in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, we pray that at the end of it, when all is said and done, please give this country peace. Give this country a chance to make progress in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the word that you have brought to us tonight. Lord, we declare that perpetually we will walk in the consciousness of your mercy. Perpetually we will walk in the consciousness of the spirit of prayer. And Lord, in the name of Jesus, our hearts remain praiseful. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for everyone who is trusting God for a turnaround in one area or the other, in the name of Jesus, let this week beginning be your week. In Jesus' name I pray. Now for everyone who is here desiring salvation, I'm about to make the altar call. Let me your attention for a minute or two. There are people here who are saying, Apostle, hearing you teach, I have seen the need for Jesus in my life. Perhaps you were invited and you came from far and from near, and the many who are following from across the globe, or you are here and you are saying, Apostle, I confess that my ways with God have not been right. I have derailed from the path of the Spirit and I need restoration. I'm going to count one to five. Our time is up. I want to request that you pick your bags, your Bibles, everything you came to church with. And as I count one to five, very boldly, don't wait for anybody to be the first. Make your way and come here to the front. God is speaking to one person. God bless you as you come. God bless you as you come. 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 Koinonia, is this the best you can do? Come. Come to Jesus. It says, but I know whom I have believed, and I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which is committed unto him against that day. He only keeps that which is committed unto him. In John chapter 17, it says, all that you have given me, I have kept, and none is lost, except the son of perdition, and that, that scripture be fulfilled. Come. You are about to step into the keeping hands of Jesus, even the Son of the living God. If you are joining them, you have a minute more, please, very quickly, so that I lead you to pray. This is the wisest decision that you can make on this side of God's kingdom. Let's celebrate them as they come. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, my brothers and sisters, thank you for making this bold declaration. The Bible declares that as many who will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. May I request that you and those in all the overflows outside, and then those who are following online, who are making this decision, perhaps you are listening to a rebroadcast, and whilst you heard me teach, the Spirit of God began to convict you. It is never too late to make Jesus Lord of your life. And it's my joy and honor to lead you as you make that confession of faith. May I request that you lift your right hand, all of you, above your head as a sign of surrender. And please say this after me. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you rose again for my justification right now i receive jesus into my heart 
as my Savior, as my Lord, and as my King, I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. I am a child of God. I go from grace to grace and glory to glory. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Father, thank you for this once. By the authority of scripture, I declare your sins forgiven. And in the name of Jesus, I call you bona fide recipients of the life of God. I declare that based on your confession, the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over your life. From tonight, you go forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Now let me please request that you just move to my right where there are counselors who will have a word with you very quickly, just for a minute or two, and then you'll be back. Let's honor them as they go. My right, which will be your left. God bless you. Hallelujah. It's election on, on Saturday, but... Um... Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life, that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise, I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain.